After solving, we find that x is $10,000 and y is $15,000. Congrats if you got both of these right. If you didn't, that's OK too. Follow along with me in the solution and then pause it when you find a mistake. Then continue solving and see if you can get these answers. Remember, mistakes are OK, and this is the time that we learn from them. I'm going to rewrite this first equation by subtracting x from both sides to get y is equal to 25,000 minus x. I did this so I could use substitution. I think that's the easier choice here. Now I perform the substitution, then I can distribute my 800s to both terms. Here's my first term, 2,000, and my second term, negative 800s times x. I subtract my constant term to move every constant to the right, and then that leaves me with x on the left. I combine my like terms, then I divide by the coefficient of x. I get x is equal to 10,000, or $10,000, which we invested at 7%. And remember, this is a system of equations, so we have two variables, x and y. Well, we know if x is $10,000, y must be $15,000, since those two have to add up to $25,000. And as always, we can check our answer by plugging in x and y into both equations. We'll get true statements.